guys. So, welcome back to my vlog. Welcome back to my vlog. So, isa siyang travel vlogger. So, small time. Yeah. Just to meet you. Small time. <laughs> travel vlogger. Vlogger. Iba kasi ang vlogger sa vlogger. Yeah. Pag vlogger, sure. sum nagsusulat siya. So, kapag vlogger, oh, ayan, like this more on videos. Ayan. So, it's video vlogging. Yeah. Para naman magkakwente naman yung mga <laughs> vlog ko. Uh, isang talagang experience, sabihin na natin. Sa pag kita travel, well experienced. Sa bibigyan niya kayo ng mga iba't ibang tips para pag uh, magka-travel kayo. So, kung mag-traveler kayo, ayan. So, don't forget to subscribe. Bibigyan ko siya ng uh, few questions regarding sa travel. So, ay, ako nga pala si Kurt, but uh, also known as Biajero Mataba. So, as you can see, uh, <laughs> kaya nga, nag-jacket ako ng and black. Pro, pro, pa, this is your time to promote yeah, your So, blog. I'm a small-time uh, travel vlogger. Uh, I started my vlogging, my travel vlogging, like a year ago. Pero nagtitravel na ako since, like, 2017. Mm -hmm. I started my uh, travel uh, my travel. 2017. So, so puro uh, mga ano lang yung travel mo, no? yung pa, ikaw lang talaga yung nagka-customize ng mga, ikaw yung gumagawa ng sarili mo, eh, generally. Yes, so most of my travel is kasi is uh, DIY, or what you said, what you call be do it yourself. At, um, so hindi ako na nakikipunta sa mga agency to avail their travel package, kasi since mag-isa lang naman ako, uh, I want to uh, give more time para explore yung city. Kasi pag more on travel agency ka, nakatay up ka. So, ang tendency is uh, yung oras nyo binamadali. Like, um, you can only stay for one place for only 30 minutes, one hour. So, un unlike pag mag-isa ka lang mag-travel and mag uh, you have your own itinerary, you have all the time to explore the city. Kasi maraming mga unbidden or underrated tour spot na hindi kasi napupuntahan. Kasi most likely, ang mga pinupuntahan ng mga travel agency yung mga masyado ng sikat. So, pag pumunta ka doon ng daming tao, hindi ka makakapag-picture din. So, enough na yung makita mo lang sa wala ka mo lang maganda masyado. So, unlike kung pag solo mo siyang puntahan, tapos alam mo yung timings na kung kailan ka pupunta para hindi marami ng tao, para makapag-picture ka ng mga yun. Yeah. Ang lakas ng makatalk show nung ano na kayo, yung set-up, no? Kaya <laughs> <laughs> talk show. Matakas. Ngayon lang, first time ko pong gumawa ng seryosong <laughs> vlog. <laughs> oh, na may so sense. Ayan, kaya sabi ko nga, ano kaya nang pwede nga, no? Content na may sense naman ang content. Ayan, so, though, nag, nag, uh, yung content ko naman is medyo uh, merong travel vlog. So, nag-invite ako ng vlogger nga, ayan, to share yung knowledge niya about kung paano ba siya nakakapag-DIY. <laughs> ayan, so may mga pinrepare akong questions. You can check it out there. My, uh, I have like more than five vlogs already that you can see. Then I have my FB page and my Instagram so you can uh, follow me there so uh, you can stay tuned with my future travel uh, 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 travel teams that I'm posting whenever there are some changes or update when it comes to traveling so uh, I post it there What do you take on your trips? Uh, usually, number one passport, of course especially when you go to international travel so number one kasi requirement is passport and some few stops, like uh, konting damit lang, like mga lightweight. Dahil uh, pwede naman akong bumili ng damit doon, especially kasi nga pag uh, uh, sa city lang naman ako bumunta. So, ang hirap kasi magdala na maraming gamit. Then, less din naman yung mga, yung baggage ko. So, most likely, yung dinadala ko lang is important thing, passport, konting mga lightweight na damit, uh, shoes, then uh, camera camera so right now ang gamit ko pala is phone ko so i haven't uh, upgraded that to any professional travel or vlogging camera medicine of course kailangan mo gano'n ng mga medicine especially kasi yung pagpupunta ko sa ibang bansa yung there are uh, changes in the weather so most likely pwede pang magsakit sa makit ng ulo so lag natin so dapat lahat ang may dalang meds or mga uh, emergency kit so how do you sleep on the plate? Wow, napaka na sense naman. Mm. Sa plane kasi, meron akong attitude na hindi ako natutulog sa biyari. Especially pag lasing ako. <laughs> <laughs> Dahil nga every travel, since I'm, I'm going with Emirates, uh, free yung drinks niya. So, hindi ba talaga yung drinks niya? So, you can ask every time. So, and meron siyang 
entertainment. Meron siyang like monitor sa kuwan. So, pwede ka manood the whole uh, the whole uh, duration of your trip, especially pag mga long flight. So, ginagawa ko habang nanonood ako, eh nag-iinom din ako. So, pag inantok nga ako kasi nga medyo tinamaan ako ng ala. So, that's the time I sleep. Pero most of the time, I don't sleep whenever I travel. Kasi kahit anong uh, uh, kahit umaga. umaga or gabi. Uh, wala, gusto ko lang ano, enjoy yung flight. Kahit minsan sakit sa tenga, and, uh, yung turbulence. Ganun. Do you stay healthy dun sa mga travelers? How do I stay healthy? You have to try different, uh, you know, foods from the different uh, cities na pupuntahan mo. So, ayun. Yeah, most of the travel bloggers din yung ginagawa nila. They try sila ng mga different cuisine, uh, public transport. Uh, but how do I, become, uh, how do I uh, stay healthy? Siguro, I, I just need proper sleep. Kasi when you do uh, travel, uh, you walk a lot, tapos uh, transfer ka from city to city, so very tiring siya. So when you're tired, you need to rest. Ideally, uh, ilang oras yung tulog na dapat talaga ngayon? No, kasi diba, when you're uh, having three days travel, so kailangan i-maximize mo talaga yung time mo. So parang by that time, uh, mga ilan para to stay healthy pa rin sa mga travels, mga yung ideal na ano lang, time pagtulog mo. Siguro yung stay healthy is before ka mag-travel, you need to prepare yourself. You need to adjust yourself. Kasi, Tama. and you need to, uh, yeah, you need to prepare yourself. Kasi nga, pag nandun ka na sa travel, you have to maximize. Especially pag mga short travel, you have to maximize it. Kasi most of the time, nasa labas ka, so you don't have time. Uh, sometimes, malilipasan ka na ng gutom. Tapos sometimes, um, yung sleep mo, very, very, uh, ano na lang, like, Two to three hours. Ako yung lalasan ko two to four to uh, two to four hours na yung sleep ko kasi I used to hang out uh, in the night. Then I need to wake up again in the morning very early kasi nga may mga tinalala kong kailangan gawin. Just to maximize the uh, uh, yung travel ko. Kasi nga, for me to stay healthy, I make sure that I prepare myself before uh, going there. Like, sometimes kailangan mo rin magpa-vaccine kasi yung mga country na may for yung vaccine, especially pag pupunta ka ng mga bandang Africa, Kenya, Ghana, they require vaccines. Dahil yung tinatawag na yellow fever vaccine. Kasi tapos mataas din kasi yung, uh, yung dengue or malaria cases sa mga ganong area. So, kailangan prepare ka din dun para hindi ka magkasakit. Like what I said, kailangan mo rin ng uh, emergency kit like medicine. Para in case na <coughs> magkaroon ka ng uh, may maramdaman kang masakit sa katawan or makasakit ulo mo, you have to drink agad. Pagpasensyahan nila ako, may na ako magiging seryoso kasi hindi nyo naman attorney yung kaharap ko. <laughs> <laughs> Grabe na yung pagbibuild up sa akin dito, hindi ko nakakahiya. Hindi yeah, naman kung na-invite dito, <laughs> hindi ka sisikat. Bumas. <laughs> so, what are the best uh, travel apps na kailangan nilang i-download? Uh, actually, maraming travel apps na pwedeng gamitin. So, it depends on the kind of work before you do. Kasi may mga apps na yung pwede mo work sa ibang country. Like, sometimes yung Uber, hindi siya, yung Uber kasi advisable siyang gamitin. Kasi, especially sa mga countries na hindi nag-i-expect ng English, then most, most likely, yung nangyayari is na i-scam yun, di ba? I don't want to call it scam, pero yun yung most ginagamit nila. Kasi nga, if they're gonna take the regular taxi, ang nangyayari is, uh, uh, they're being asked to pay higher fare. So unlike ng Uber, if you book your uh, if you book your place to Uber or you book your ride your you book your ride to Uber, uh, dadahin ka niya kung saan mismo yung lugar mo at ano na yung price na babayaran mo. So, offline maps very important. So, pag solo traveler ka very important ang map, especially pag gusto mo tour around the city. So I recommend the maps that we. So it's an uh, offline map. So what you're going to do there is. Just download from Google Store. Then once you reach the area, it will uh, it will require you to download to download uh, the to the maps or uh, the city map of the place that you're going to. Then it will give you the it will give you all the things that you need, like what is the nearest restaurant, what is the uh, 
tourist attraction in the area, kung saan ka pupunta, it will give you also an access to the nearest uh, metro, what metro to, to ride on, and yung distance ng lalakarin kung gusto mong mag-walk. So, andun lahat yung sa, sa maps that we eat. It's a very uh, useful app. We Airbnb, so marami na ngayon ang gumagamit ng Airbnb. It's, uh, Airbnb. it's for booking up your, uh, if you don't want to stay in the hotel and you want to rent like a house or an apartment or a, or a private room, you can uh, check uh, Airbnb. So, it's one of the helpful apps for most of the travelers. You can also check Couchsurfing. So Couchsurfing naman is a shop app na uh, you're requesting someone to host you pagpupunta ka sa certain country. So you will post it there then uh, that you're looking for a host. So they're the one going to uh, take care of your, doon ka mag, mag stay sa kanila for free. That's for free. So parang yun yung naging tradition sa Couchsurfing is that you just need to give something to the host that is coming from where you came from. So, makakasave na kayo nun for the, uh, we call this, for the accommodation. Okay. And then, sometimes yung mga uh, host pa, nagbibigay sila ng free tour, tutor ka nila sa city nila, then bibigyan ka ng mga tips din that you need to learn from the country. But, uh, just be aware, kasi marami din na, uh, make sure that you uh, only accept those who are verified account kasi meron kong verified account and verified account or you have to check the reviews nung mga account na yun uh, if they're uh, very reliable or uh, pwede ka talaga magstay sa kanila kasi may mga reviews naman yun Ayan, so how do you get around without speaking the language? So syempre, parang ano ba tawag that? Uh, language barrier sa problem yes. when you're traveling sa other countries kasi lalo na sa mga Russian countries they don't really know how to speak in English in Europe and there are some uh, places there that they don't really speak English mm -hmm. uh, problem ng mga traveler is yung language barrier kasi uh, it's hard to communicate if you don't even get the basic English so what I did so one uh, one uh, application pa pala ng pwede yung namin okay. while they're traveling is the Google Translate so it, it will really help you to communicate with the local person, just select the language that you're using uh, and uh, translate into English. So there, uh, but you need to have an internet for that. So it's not an offline application. So you need to have an internet for that. Mm -hmm. Then, so you, you just, uh, it's either you write the word that you wanted to ask to them or you wanted to say, then it will be translated into English. Or vice versa, they, they will speak another language or they will write in their language, then it will be translated into English. So, it's a very helpful app. That's what I always use. So whenever I go to countries that they don't that don't speak English, I always um, I use the Google Translate. Even uh, in uh, reading signage, because in reading signage you can just uh, uh, place your camera camera of the Google Translate from the word that you need to translate, and it will be translated automatically to English. So you just uh, uh, set it to the language, to the national language of the country that you're going to, then it will be automatically uh, translated to English. What is the last country that you've been with? Actually, ngayon siya yung pinaka-favorite country ko na puntahan kasi before it's, it's like very impossible to go there. Uh, so, yun na nga, nag-announce na yung Russia that they're giving a free tour in the Philippines. We immediately booked the ticket with my friends. So, so yung last na puntahan kong country is Russia. But before that, I went also to Montenegro. It's the southern part of Europe which is also uh, one of my favorite. But right now, my favorite country is Russia, which is a really beautiful country, uh, very rich in history and the culture, and uh, you can really feel the European vibe, which is really good. Better to visit here by, uh, in uh, autumn time, because you will enjoy the weather. Unlike in winter time, it's really insanely cold, and uh, you really have to have a very uh, thick jacket or a thermal jacket. Venue. And you can oh, Russia, we Filipinos, yung may certain place lang na allowed na to, yes. to enter. Yeah, Aha. that's a very good question kasi marami yung nagkakamali ngayon. Then for, for Russia, we are only allowed to stay in Kaliningrad. Kaliningrad region is between, uh, I think, Latvia or something. It's, 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 in, it's far from the Russia continent itself, but there is one area or region that you can also visit and they call it Kaliningrad. So you can also stay there for eight uh, days like in Leningrad region or St. Petersburg. But there is no direct flight to 
Leningrad, so you need to go to Russia to St. Petersburg yeah. to go to Leningrad. So the other one is the one that we went to is the uh, St. Petersburg. So we can, we can stay there for eight okay. days and you should have a direct flight going there uh, without any transit or stopover to Mos Moscow. Because the main problem is that we are not aware that um, St. Petersburg is a domestic flight from Moscow. So most probably, if you're going to take an international flight from Dubai or from the Philippines or from other parts of the world, then there is a transit to Moscow. The tendency is to go out to the international airport and to transfer to domestic. So they don't advise na mag-take kayo ng uh, Moscow transit flight kasi nga, you need to have a visa to Moscow or to the whole Russia before you can uh, go to Moscow. So, ang mong tendency, pag wala kayong visa ng Moscow, may uh, mag-detain kayo. Like what happened to one kabayan that was reported last time. Kasi may transit siya ng Moscow. He, he, she didn't know na bawal pala yon So, ayun, na-detain siya. And I think naayos na naman natin ng consulate natin doon. But yeah, just a reminder kasi marami nagkakamalit because as you can see, mura talaga yung flight if there is a transit to Moscow. Kasi nag-check kami ng maraming flights and napakamura nga niya. Unlike if you're gonna go straight from different countries going to St. Petersburg, uh, pwede tayo mag-transit pero Moscow in there. So you can transit from uh, Qatar, you can also transit from Schengen area, so we are allowed to stay there for like 24 hours. <coughs> uh, Baku, Azerbaijan, uh, Baku, uh, Armenia, Georgia, yeah, you can use those transits and the Schengen uh, countries also. Because we're allowed to end. As long as it's international airport and you're living the international airport also. So it's, it, it's fine to transit there. But if you're gonna go for international, then domestic, it's not allowed. Next question is how do you exchange money overseas? Ako pag nag-travel kasi ako, ang ginagawa ko is uh, I convert it to the dollar Kasi dollar is an acceptable currency all over the world. Ang medium is change a medium sa isang country and you can change it anywhere. So I want naman na uh, yung story ko naman yung ikikwento ko at saka yung, uh, yung isusulat ko. Kasi I've been a fan of reading uh, travel blogs, uh, watching travel blogs. So at least at uh, this time, at this point of my life, Nagagawa, ako na yung, ako na yung gumagawa ng sarili kong story, ng sarili kong travel history, ng travel uh, experience ko, which is the, one of my goals na hindi ko na naman na-achieve. Actually, for me, if you really want it, you have to go for it. So, yung opportunity kasi, yung time na yung mismo, that you, have, you still have the time, you still have the fun to do it, but you did not do it, yun kasi nakapanghinayang eh. Kasi, yeah, I know, ma, medyo may pagka-expensive yung pagka-travel, pero the thing is, sabi ko nga, yung experience mo naman hindi mababayaran. But of course, don't forget to, uh, to also do investment or savings, kasi mahirap din yung wala kang uh, backup at the end of the day. I make sure that I still have backup at the end of the day, kasi mahirap na, di ba? Mahirap na ma-zero na kapag travel ka, pero wala ka din yung savings. Yeah, knowing cultures of other uh, people, judge natin sila why their life is their life is. But when you get to to their place, you will understand that uh, they're being like this kasi ganito yung culture nila. Make some research kung gano'ng kasi lugar, anong weather sa lugar, and anong um, culture nila. Kasi mamaya, may mga ginagawa tayo nung na-offend sila kasi nga, they're not uh, used to it. Facebook, you can see, uh, you can search for Biherong Mangyan. Biherong Mangyan? Then, yeah. Then for fa uh, for Instagram, it's Biherong Mataba. And for my uh, blog, herongmataba.medly.com. And you can see my uh, all my articles regarding traveling, some travel tips, and advices also. So, yeah. Itineraries for my uh, uh, previous travels. So, andito ka kayo to promote din yung... Ayan, yung page niya talaga. Okay. And also, yeah, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to my uh, friend's uh, YouTube uh, YouTube channel. Yeah, Nico Mateo. Yeah. Ayan, so next vlog ko, uh, bangan nyo, marami pa akong vlog na ganyan. Ito talaga, talaga yung pinakaseryoso ng vlog niya. Ilalag na pa ako ngayon. So thank you for watching, guys. And... Yeah, thank you, thank you so guys. Hope that may natutunan kayo and nakapag-share ako ng uh, part of my knowledge regarding to my uh, travel experiences. And sana
magamit ka rin siya. Yun lang naman and thank you for watching again. Don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe to this channel. Bye! Bye.